Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a DIY coffee mask slash, slash scrub. What you'll need is an empty bowl for your mixture and then you'll also need coffee. <laughs> I'm using the Masterton's coffee that I got from the EC meetup. If you guys haven't bought your tickets yet, if you're a blogger, a wannabe blogger and you have not bought your tickets for the EC meetup yet, please go and do so right now. Um, you can either choose to buy the instant coffee or you can get the coffee beans and then grind them up so that they're usable. I'm also using the Humble Bee Honey that I got from the Valley Market and it's the Mai Tire, is it? Yeah, it's the Mai... Mai Tool, yes. It's the super, super, super unrefi unrefined honey. It's got all the bits and pieces in it and it is fantastic for your skin. So you'll want to start out with a tablespoon of coffee. There isn't really a set measurement on this, but you want to start out with a tablespoon just, just so you don't you put too much or too little. And then you want to um, go in there with a teaspoon of honey. Um, the benefits of honey are it hydrates your skin, it seals in moisture, natural antibacterial, and it also helps unclog your pores. If you are acne prone, this is, then this is fantastic for you. You can also just use this by itself as a face wash. So just use this and then go to your toner and moisturizer and you are done, 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 done. Um, for the coffee, I used Masterton's coffee. Um, and the benefits of coffee are that it helps bring blood flow to your skin, it reduces inflammation, it's also packed with anti antioxidants and it also helps exfoliate just like that unrefined honey that I was using. So both of them together are going to unclog those pores and help you look super glowy and smooth girl. This is an optional um, step to the coffee scrub, but I like to use essential oils and honestly, I can't even begin <laughs> to tell you the benefits of essential oils. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that. Watch out for that, it will be coming soon. You wanna use between three to five drops of your favorite essential oil and I'll be talking about the different types of essential oils and their benefits, etc. In another video, I decided to use lemon essential oil for this scrub. I'll probably use 10 different ones in my 10 upcoming coffee scrubs. The ideal number of times to use a coffee scrub would be between one to two times a week. So yeah, if you wanna try different essential oils, for all of that then you're welcome to and if you want to just mix them all up into your coffee scrub then you're welcome to but like I said I'll be doing a separate video on essential oils and all the benefits etc I put this mask on using a brush just because it was easier you don't have to as long as you have clean fingers you can just put it on with your fingers but as you can see my fingernails did not allow that <laughs> so I had to use a brush to put it on and try not to like I said make the mixture too runny I feel like mine was too runny so I kept on having to tilt my head back so that it doesn't like run off and fall on my lap <laughs> Leave the coffee scrub on your face for about um, between 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want to leave it on for too long because then it's just unnecessary. But you want to leave it on long enough for it to work. So I don't know, take selfies, speak on your phone, video chat. I, I have no idea what it is I was doing on my phone. But yeah, as long as whatever makes time pass by for you.
After washing the scrub off, you will immediately feel the difference in your skin, or at least I did. This was my first coffee scrub, um, the one that I filmed here, and it was, I, I literally could feel the difference, you guys. And I will be doing this way more often, and maybe after a couple of weeks, I will let you know how it's affected my skin over time with me um, doing it regularly. I then toned my face with Witch Hazel, which is an effective toner. It's mild on the skin, so if you have sensitive skin, then I would suggest you try this out. I can do a full review for you guys, just let me know in the comment section below, but otherwise I am loving Witch Hazel as a toner right now. Afterwards, I then put on my DIY face oil. I have been using my DIY face oil with, with essential oils and rose hip for weeks now and my skin is loving it. If you want to know what is in my um, face oil, just let me know in the comment section below. I will be doing a video about it soon, just like I said, as well as a video on essential oils and the different types of essential oils you can use for your hair and your skin, your well-being, etc. So expect that soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.